Hi everyone, this is Delia. Welcome back to the Motivated Mind, our place and space where we come together to activate and or strengthen our master cord, which is our super duper connection between us and the divine. And you know what? Let's add in some emotional wholeness and physical well-being. So yeah, let's do this. And guys, um, the topic I wanted to discuss today was the whole issue of forgiveness. Now, anyone who is on that um, personal development journey, I'm sure would have had to confront this issue because um, forgiveness is something that um, we do for ourselves. It's totally selfish. You know what I mean? It is a totally selfish act, but somehow erroneously, we feel that when we... Um, hold someone in mind or when we um feel badly about another person and you know think that this person is horrible that we are in fact doing them something no we are not you know if if i think really badly of you how in the world does that affect you you know what i mean it doesn't all it does is that for me it it, it makes me you know a very negative person and um, unhappy and joyless and nobody wants to be around anybody like that so definitely forgiveness is the ultimate act of selfishness and I know oftentimes selfishness is considered a bad word but definitely not in this um, situation and you know I also think that when we operate in unforgiveness it's also an indi indication that we are fearful we are fearful for what it means if i no longer have this crutch of um anger or, or unforgiveness to this person which is the reason why x y and z is not happening so if i hold on to this i can justify and see you know what because x y and z happened this is why i am not becoming the best of me so we use it as a crutch and thus it's fear-based so definitely another reason why we definitely need to forgive and also with forgiveness comes the whole issue of um you know it's it's quite easy to forgive um something from someone who who is maybe distant maybe a co-worker or somebody we know casually you know that we are not compelled to have a relationship with but i have found that um the most difficult people to forgive are sometimes the ones that are closest to us you know we can go around and pretend that you know something happened and I'm cool or whatever but in fact we are not you know and uh, when we think about the incident or what happened a certain resentment you know comes up in us which is definitely an indication that we really haven't forgiven the person and um we need to work on that we need to work on unforgiving our spouses and even sometimes our children because sometimes our kids do stuff and we like what <laughs> yeah you know what I mean but we have to forgive them we have to forgive them and when we forgive them we are really allowing ourselves to grow we are allowing ourselves to develop the relationships that we were meant to develop because your relationship can't really grow if you're pretending everything is okay you know it's it's not going to really grow and do yourself a favor like i said it's a totally unselfish act you know and um basically take some time have that quiet moment and you know meditate and pray and ask God you know if there's anyone that you hold unforgiveness for that you forgive them you know even if you have to call them by name you may not physically have to call that person but just go through if it's Joan if it's Susie if it's Robert I forgive you I forgive you and you will find that you would feel unburdened and and when you forgive you then turn around and bless them you say Lord I bless them I bless them trust me your life would definitely be better okay guys so that's all for this week so um I'll see you guys next week have a great week bye